Hi, Ari Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got beat up bad in Warsong Gulch, and uh, we sold some stuff on the auction house. So let's see if we made any gold. Looks like uh, we got a couple. We got outbid on the rune cloth bag, guys. That's too bad. We got outbid, so we got our money back. It's too bad. It's hoping that didn't happen. But a lot of our stuff sold. The small eggs sold. A couple of the pieces of gear sold. Two of them didn't, though. And we're at a gold 89. This makes me wonder, should we go get another bag? Well, I think we'll do that eventually. But first, we are going to... Uh... We also leveled up uh, our... We've got some new talents. We have uh, multi-shot now. We also have mongoose bite. We upgraded serpent sting and raptor strike to rank 3. Yeah, we learned a lot of new stuff. We also got a new trap called Immolation Trap that we can set. This does like an AoE. AoE of fire if someone steps on. It's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. That was a yeah, pretty productive episode. But now we are uh, going to make our way out of here. Oh my gosh, this guy's killing squirrels. <laughs> he cried. Squirrel killer. Int please is a squirrel killer. Gosh. She should be banned from Darnassus. Darnassus is supposed to be a peaceful place. Alright, so we're getting out of here. We're going to uh, take a flight down to good old Darkshore. That'll be the plan. And then we will... Uh, we're going to make our way back to Eastern Kingdoms. We're going to be on our way to Stormwind. That's the plan. And we're going to check out Westfall. I am on. So let's uh, head over to Darkshore. And then we're going to have to take the boat all the way to... Uh, over here in Menethil Harbor. And then from Menethil Harbor, we're probably going to take a flight down to, uh, take a flight down to Iron Forge. Or maybe we can take a flight all the way, all the way to Stormwind. We'll have to see. I don't think we'll be able to fly all the way to Stormwind. We'll probably have to go to Iron Forge and then take the tram. That's my guess. But yeah, we made a little bit of gold. Got like one gold out of that. We also got a new ammo pouch. I actually should have got should get rid of this. I don't really need it anymore. Got an eight slot ammo pouch, so we can save some more ammo. We got a twelve slot knapsack. Thinking about buying another one. They're only like a gold. They're like a gold nine. The last one I bought. But it's a shame we didn't get that rune cloth bag. If we got that rune cloth bag for like eighty some silver, that would have been great. That would have been great. We would have had a 14-slot bag and a 12-slot. Because I think our goal is to eventually have at least three 14-slots. And then a nice ammo pouch. Alright, so we're back in Darkshore. That was pretty quick. Now we just got to catch the boat, and the boat's there. But I think we're going to miss it. Let's call uh, Alberta here. We missed the boat, that sucks. I hate missing boats. Cause then you gotta wait. Oh my gosh, we're gonna miss it. We're gonna miss the boat, aren't we? Come on, just stay there for a little bit longer. Why don't we have Aspect of the Cheetah yet? If we had Aspect of the Cheetah, we would be there right now. Oh, please just sit there. Cause that's the boat to Menethil Harbor. Watch it just leave once we get there. No! Okay. <laughs> Let's go back. We're gonna go buy some, uh, we're gonna go buy some ammo. We're gonna do something productive while we wait for the boat to come back. This is gonna be a while. I'm not just gonna stand at the dock in the rain. It's such a sad thing to do, you know what I mean? You just stand at the dock, you missed your boat, you're getting rain poured down on you. That's one thing about Darkshore. It's a 
it's a gloomy place. I'm kind of, I enjoyed leveling in Darkshore, but I'm kind of happy we're out of here. It's, it's very gray. It's a very gray place. It's going to be nice going to the, the sunny, sunny areas, area of Westfall. Which I think will be good. We'll get to see if we out-level it by a lot, but I think I think it sh we should be okay. I think we'll be able to do some quests there. We still have a lot of quests here that we could have done, but I think we're just too high of a level. And I, wa I want a little bit of change. So there we go. Let's get some more heavy shot. There we go. So there we go. We got some heavy shot. Do we have anything to sell? I don't think so. I think everything we got is pretty good. Gonna put this Mage Royale in the bank. And we could have made a couple more potions for our alchemy. It's probably not necessary, but I don't know. We could do that maybe later. When we're in Stormwind. The goal is to get to Stormwind. So here we are again. Running back in the rain. Can barely see anything out here, too. Okay, well, we're not going to miss it again. Looks like there's a druid over here. Maybe we can get some Mark of the Wild from him. It's a wave. Ah, thank you. May your generosity be returned to you a hundredfold. Let's give him a dance. He's going to show me how to get to Westfall. <laughs> Look at these level 60s here. I guess they're going to Darnassus. All right, so it looks like Fadrell is going to show us around. I don't know if we're RPing. I was going to ask him if he's, like, enjoying his leveling. Yeah, it's pretty bad out here. I don't know. This place is okay to come to. I'm happy I came to Darkshore just to check it out because I've never done it. Or, like, quested here. But I am happy to be uh, to be going back to Stormwind and to, you know, the brighter areas. Says I, oh, he likes me, so that's good. <laughs> we've cr we've found an ally. Maybe we'll catch up to him one day and see him again out on our journeys. I doubt it. He'll probably be sixty by the time I hit thirty. 
So here we go. We're having a little dance. See how much nicer it is on this side of the world? Look at that. Blue skies. It's great out here. And this is like a swamp and it looks better. Dark Shore's a, a, a gloomy place. I think it's glo like more gloomy than the undead areas. Like up in uh, Trisfall Glades. Silver Pine Forest. <laughs> Alright, here we are. We're back in uh, the Eastern Kingdoms. Now we just have to find the Hippogriff. See ya. Say goodbye to our friend, Fadrella. We'll go find the Hippogriffs, and we'll see if we can take our Hippogriffs to Stormwind. That is going to be the plan. Because Fadrella said we could. And there's the Hippogriff trainer right over here. Oh, Fadrella whispers goodbye. And here we go, get on the Griffin Master. Need help? And looks like we can go to Stormwind. That is awesome. So I guess, well, yeah, we don't have to take the, the tram. So we're just going to have a nice long flight. Let me know if you need anything. See, what a nice server, guys. Got some really nice people over here in Grobulus. I haven't met, like, one toxic person on the Alliance. So here we are. I haven't actually flew. This should be a decent flight. We're flying all the way to Stormwind. It's going to take some time. I wonder how all the, the people are doing on Arcanite Reaper leveling on the supposedly f f new fresh server with the new fresh project going on. Hope it's working out well and I also hope that no bots go on that server and start trying to ruin the economy before TBC comes out. I bet people are having a lot of fun leveling up. I could imagine there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people right now in Scarlet Monastery and uh, Zulfarak. You can imagine a lot of people are level 30 and 40 at the moment over there. It's nice that they're starting up a new thing there. And I hope uh, what they're doing gets Blizzard's attention and they release fresh servers that you're not allowed to uh, have a have a character boost on. So I'm not a fan of the character boost either, because that's something. That's another thing bots can uh, can abuse. Getting a free character boost for every account is kind of ridiculous, and it makes uh, botting much more accessible because people don't even have to level their characters up. I could imagine having to start like getting your account banned and leveling from one to seventy would be quite a pain if you were a, a botter. Oh, we're in Searing Gorge. Wow. This place is one of my favorite places to level. A lot of PvP. Well, on Fairlina there was. Had a lot of fun on my Druid in Searing Gorge. It's underrated. I think it's one of, like, the best zones in the game. Well, for Classic WoW, anyways. What's this over here? Burning Cess. I never went here. I don't think. It's like a crazy tomb. It's cool seeing this flight path because it's a different. Uh, the Alliance have a different flight path than than the Horde. So you get a different. You know, you get different scenery. We're almost at Stormwind. Flying pretty fast here. That over there is like a bunch of dwarves. Who's that? Is that? Oh, sucks. Suksa. Another night elf druid. So many people leveling druids right now. I don't blame them. Druids are going to be pretty damn good in, uh, in TBC, especially for PvP. The rest of druids are supposedly the best healers in Arena. 
in TBC. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot, a lot of people leveling druids up. Druids are great tanks as well, and they're also uh, reliable DPS uh, as Boomkins. You'll want at least one in your caster group for the buffs that they bring and the utility that they bring as well. So druids are are in a pretty good spot in TBC. Much better than they were in Classic, that's for sure. They're kind of just designated healers in Classic, and then they're kind of considered a meme class as a tank, but I think they're actually pretty damn good tanks, especially on Patchwork. They really help out with their high health pool. So here we are, already in Stonewind, and we are going to, uh, I guess, do a little quest. Try to find some quests here to do. It's a nice sunny day. And we will uh, maybe try to buy a knapsack. See what the bags are worth. Go to the auction house quick. Actually, I might put some of the, the gear that we got on there. I should probably sell this six slot ammo pouch. So here we go. We'll take these. The other stuff didn't really sell. Which is fine. And I also want to uh, get the flight point in Westfall. That'll be a good something we'll do as well. Alright, so let's see if these sell. We got some auctions here. Put this up for... Uh, put up for, uh, I don't know. It's a decent chess piece. I don't know, 17 silver? I don't think that's too bad. It's pretty cheap. And then the shield... This didn't really sell last time. We'll just put it up for, uh, we'll put it up for 15. How about that? There we go. And I think we'll go to the bank quick. And I want to get those herbs back. You so need I'm going to need them to level up the alchemy. Be careful. We have a lot of bag space. Also, I didn't look at bags. Speaking of bags, I should probably put these righteous orbs up and this light feather. Forgot to do that. Also, need to upgrade my uh, my first aid. Lustrous pearls, only four silver. So I guess we'll sell these for uh, three ninety nine. We'll sell them for seven ninety nine for two. Put it at like six, seven, seven ninety nine, and then we'll look for bags. The lowest price bag that they get. Woolen bags. No. Here's another rune cloth bag up there for seventy five silver. We're gonna bid on it again. I don't think we're going to win the bid, but... Yep, look, Mage Weave bags went up in price, guys. They're like 48 silver more. Well, we're going to look for uh, for knapsacks now. I think the knapsacks are a little bit cheaper. And they're not. See, guys? We got... I feel like I kind of missed out. Those knapsacks went up in price, too, by like two gold. It's kind of rough. Alright, so I guess we're stuck with what we got. Hopefully we win that rune cloth bag. Seems like there's a guy who just puts it up for 75 silver every day. Maybe uh, we'll be the lucky winners today. Who knows. And now it's time for us to... Uh, we'll get some more herbs here. Because I need them to level up our alchemy. Hey there. I'm thinking about leveling up for getting our first aid up here. I'm going to try to just get, like, get all of our herbs. Might as well. See you later. I know that's going to fill up our bags a lot, but I think we have enough bag space to not really worry about it. Is there anything else I want to put in there? What can I do for you? Um, you know, put in the light feather because we forgot to sell it. I'll put that in there, and there we go. Have a good one. 
All right, so let's go find the first aid trainer and the alchemy trainer. And then we'll do a quest. Doing a lot of preparation stuff the last couple episodes. Come get carried. All enchants required. Service free with your mat. So selling enchants. Okay. It's not too bad. Looking for a tank for ZF. Well, that's good. People are looking for uh, for groups for certain dungeons, which means we'll be able to do some dungeons. I don't know if we'll be able to do dead mines. I don't really see anybody looking for anybody for dead mines. We might have to make looking our own group. Specific? Okay, so we need to get some empty vials. At least a 20 stack. I wonder how the alchemy trainer's doing. Luck, with you. We can learn some, uh, some po minor mana potion. Let's make that, I guess. Weak troll blood? That's a pretty good one. Greetings. Okay, so now we got some new potions. I might make a couple of these weak troll blood ones. We'll make... Actually, we'll make a bunch of these minor healing ones. Actually, should we... Sh should we do? Probably just make more of these defense ones, because we got a lot of silver leaf. And if we don't use them, we'll just sell them. I don't think anybody will buy them on the auction house, though. We could probably use, like, five more of these, too. So we'll make five more of these as well. We'll get our alchemy up. I don't think we can get it high enough to, uh, to get the next level of alchemy, though. We got a new one. Minor Rejuve Potion. Source, that's okay. I don't think we'll get that, though. Alright, so we'll, uh... I guess we'll get rid of all the Peace Bloom. We'll just get a bunch of healing pots, and we'll just start chugging them. Our bags are gonna fill up, though, quite a bit. I think we'll be able to level it up, actually. We just gotta buy some more, uh... Some more pots. Elixir of Minor Fortitude. I'll train that. I'll train that. And let's get, uh... Let's get some more vials. Guess we'll get one more. There we go. We got 20 more vials. And we'll make, uh... I think we have some weak troll blood potions, don't we? I was kind of waiting to make those. I guess we'll make a couple more of these. I don't really want the manas. Fortitude ones are pretty good. I guess we'll have, like... Four of those? But I want the troll blood. I think the troll blood's better. So we'll get five of these, four of these. And then we'll uh, focus on minor healing pots, I guess. Or maybe just elixir of defense. Okay, so these are now yellow. So maybe we should have waited. We're going to have so many of these defense pots. I'm just going to start using them on cooldown. Same with these health pots. Let's drink them up. Okay, wait a second. Let's get some more health pots here. We didn't really get to level anything up, which is kind of a shame. We make some mana pots, though. Look at all the potions we got. There goes all our bag space. Okay, so here we go. I guess we'll make one more of these. 
And oh, okay. Farewell. We can make one minor mana pot. I guess we'll make one of those. Hello. Let's see if we can upgrade our anything. Lesser healing pot. That's actually big. So now with these healing pots, we can actually make better healing pots. We should have made more healing pots. I think we made as many as we could. So that's all right. And then now we can make the lesser ones. We just got to get more briar thorn. All right, so there we go. We got the 67. I guess we'll use a, a minor defense pot. I wonder if the minor defense pots are needed for like the... The next level of defense. Maybe I shouldn't be chugging them as much as I think I should be. Let's put that there. And the next thing we will do is we will, I guess, upgrade our first aid. I think our first aid's pretty high. It's only at 75. It's already upgraded. I guess we'll make another heavy linen bandage. Might as well. Actually, maybe we'll do that later. We'll do our first aid later. It's time to go to Cathedral Square. Look at this guy's just running into the wall. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Go to Cathedral Square, and then we'll make our way out to Westfall. And I should probably get uh, my hearth here in Stormwind as well. Here we are in Cathedral Square. There's a certain little nook that I want to go to. Don't know if it's in here or in here. It might be in here. Yeah, there he is. Barros Alexton. Humble something? beginnings. Seems an eternity since I was a boy working the farm in Westfall. They say you can never go back, and it's true. Doubly true in my case. My family's home has been burned down and taken over by thieves. I have spoken with my father about the fate of some of my possessions, including my first compass. He was unable to save them. However, he also says that they should be hidden away on the farm. You'll find the Alexson farmstead west of Sentinel Hill. Perhaps you could go and retrieve it. Safe travels. All right, so that's what we'll do. We'll go and uh, we'll retrieve his compass, and we'll also get our uh, the flight point there. So let's roll out. We'll head off to Westfall. We should probably call out our pet. We go. We got Alberta here. We also never got a kitty. That's something I forgot about. We never got a cat in what in uh, Darkshore. I think that was, might might be a mistake. But that's good for Alberta because now Alberta is going to be around for a bit longer. It's not getting put in the stable yet. Help a poor bloke out. Hello. Oh, you can't give him any gold. So this will give him a give him a wave. There you go. <laughs> Help a poor bloke out. It's too bad you can't give him any gold in uh, in Skyrim. When like a beggar would come up to you, you were able to give him some coin. And just before we leave here, I need to remember to uh, set my hearth to Stormwind. Do that Have right find here. Something? There we go. And now it is time for us to make our journey to Westfall. We'll head over to Sentinel Hill. How's this guy have a raptor? Oh, he's got the raptor from ZG. Where is the horde in Ironforge? Looks like there's iron. Looking for a tank for Skolomance. It's like a level 60 dungeon. We still have this axe, too. This axe has got to be getting a little crappy now. Tabar? It's crazy how we've had the Tabar all the way up to level 19. 
still feels like it does, like, decent damage. And this gun, too. Like, our gun is a level 14 gun. Like, no wonder we were getting destroyed in, uh, in those BGs. Like, <laughs> our gear's, like, level 13. And we have, like, a level 14 gun. So this will say thank you. Ah, oh, you're nice. Oh, you're nice. Alright, off to Westfall we go. But yeah, it makes sense why we got destroyed in those in that BG. All these guys had like level 19 plus gear. Some of the some of their gear was blue, and I'm out there with with white gear. Some of my gear is gray. Nope. Forgot we have uh we have Alberta on aggressive. He's just out here just fighting. Put him on aggressive for the BG. Guess we'll go. T we'll take a swim here. We have to find his compass. Supposedly it is just uh, west of Sentinel Hill. So I guess we'll s we'll find Sentinel Hill first. We got blessing of wisdom. We get 15 mana every five seconds. Not bad. And we still have this mark of the wild. And we'll turn on our herb finder. And looks like we found some herbs already. Get some more of this silver leaf. That's another thing. We might be able to upgrade our herbalism pretty soon. We're at 73. Oh, what's wrong with these guys? Are you mad that we're taking these herbs? Get out of here. We're taking the herbs, okay? Probably some earth root over there. These herbs always get me off track. There it is up there. Alright, so let's keep on going to Westfall. See how our bags are looking. We got a decent amount of space, I would say. Not doing too bad. Got a bunch of bullets. Just one shot that that wolf. Got a peace bloom over here. I guess we'll pick that up. I wonder what our max herbalism is before we have to upgrade it. We should be able to upgrade it now, I think. Yeah, we're maxed out. So we need to go upgrade our herbalism ASAP. Maybe there will be a herbalism trainer in Sentinel Hill. We can go look. If not, then when we go back to Stormwind, I'm going to make sure that we uh, upgrade our first aid and our herbalism. This is where Hogger is. This is where we've got our quest to fight Hogger. It's one of my favorite quests in the game. Another Peace Bloom over here. Pick it up. Since I don't get any... Uh, I'm not getting any XP for picking these up. It kind of sucks. But I guess we'll pick up a little bit. Pick up the ones that are on the way. I'm not going to go out of my way unless we're getting uh, getting our herbalism up. But I could use these herbs to level up my alchemy, so it's not a total waste. can also make an elixir right now. I need to find more of these uh, briar thorns. If I find more briar thorns to bruise weed over here. We can't loot it because it's herbalism 100. That's crazy. So here we are in Westfall. It's our first time here. 
And it looks like these guys, these mechanicals are level nine. So I guess we're a little bit, uh, a little bit high for the beginning of Westfall. It might be too high for Westfall. It might might not be here too long. But we'll check it out. We'll at least get our our flight point here, and we'll do the we'll do the quest for the quest humble beginnings for Barrows Alex, and we'll get his uh, get his compass for him. There you go level twelve. All we need to see is like level seventeen, level fifteen mobs, and we should be okay. Yeah, the harvest golems are a little low. I remember these these mobs being pretty strong, especially on retail when I played Alliance. Played Alliance on in retail in Mista Pandaria. Played a Night Elf Druid. The reason why I came to Alliance is because I thought they had better PvP racials. And I wanted to try. I just wanted to see what Alliance was like, and I wanted to PvP as Alliance. And I chose to do that in Mista Pandaria, which was a great expansion for PvP. Report to. Green Stout Mantle. I guess we'll do this report. Even though it's gray. I guess we'll report to him. We'll say hello. Get this quest out of the way. Free dead mines run. Post me fast. Need help? Well, that's pretty cool. Go with honor, friend. It's nice of that mage. So pretty much I guess mages carry in dead mines as well. And we found Sentinel Hill, which is good. Now I just gotta find the the flight guy here. Seems like he's right over here. And then supposedly his compass is just west. That's awesome that this mage is doing free dead mines runs. Thing is, I should I do that? That's that, I should, probably shouldn't do that. Because it's not really doing a dungeon. Like, you guys don't want to see me get carried by a mage through dead mines. Like, that's kind of boring. Well, it's not really like playing the game. I, I would consider that, like, me getting carried through a dungeon. That's the last thing I want to do on my road to, uh, to 60. Kind of want to find a group to do dead mines. But that's a good thing about leveling in Westfall or in the zones where, uh,. Where the dungeons are. Kind of forgot about that. If I was leveling in this zone earlier, maybe I would have found somebody doing a run. Or a group. At least. So we'll keep on heading west until we find the farm that we need to find. Supposedly his home is, uh... It's been burned down. He was working at a farm. It's just west of Westfall. It's called the Alexton Farmstead. So there we go. We found some level 19s. Here we go, that dust devil. Let's fight this guy. Let's see how hard he is. Well, he's... You don't really do a lot of damage. Is it? Yeah, these dust devils are actually pretty strong. Let's see what we get from them. Didn't get anything. It's looks like there's a farm up here. So this place isn't that bad. There's level 15s here. These guys are... These harvest watchers are level 14. So we found the Alexton farmstead. Now we gotta find his burnt down home. There we go. We got some Defias pillagers here. Pillage in his farm. Let's get rid of him. It's a mage. mage. They hit pretty hard. Nice taunt. We 
go. We got rid of him. I guess we'll use uh, a bandage here to heal up. And then we'll go, uh, I guess we'll go inside and check and see if we can find any, uh, anything going on. We seem to have another pillager here. We need better gear, though. You can clearly tell I'm not doing any damage. Like, well, I'm not, not that I'm not doing any damage. My damage is pretty low. I think. Actually, no, that person got blown up. So he said his house is burnt down. So I assume that's probably his house over here. This level 13 is getting destroyed. It's a looter. It's looting their house. I wonder who... Who runs the Defy's Brotherhood. It's probably the Van Cleefs. From Dead Mines. He's punching me. Oh, I got disarmed. That's hilarious. I didn't know they could do that. I should probably try a trap. There we go, we stayed alive. We just gotta see if we can make it inside now. It actually hit pretty hard. Should not underestimate them just because they're level 14. So here inside, looks like we got a little chest. A Lexton's chest. So let's open it up here. And there we go, we got the simple compass. So I guess we'll go back to a Lexton. I remember us... We did pick up the flight point, so we should be good, I believe. Did we get it? Did we get the... Yeah, we did. We got the flight point. We'll be good. So we'll hurt back. And if not, then whatever. We'll just run back to Westfall if we ever have to do quests here. Looks like I can do some. I'm not too high of a level, but I'm, I'm higher than, than most of the mobs here. Now we'll make our way back to Alexton. And if they're the first aid trainer or the herbalism trainer is on the way, maybe we'll go over there and... Have a little chat with them. Well met. Let's go check out the first aid trainer. Light bless Looks like he's in Cathedral Square, so that's just on the way. And we got 90 silver. And it looks like we missed uh, a rallying cry of the Dragon Slayer, which is too bad. That would have been nice to get. So off to Cathedral Square we go. And we're going to bring back a Lexton's compass. Get you water, food, and ports on SW boxes. It's a good way to make gold selling ports and food and water as a mage. But not when there's a lot of bots. Because bots inflate the prices, and then your problem is, is your your services don't go up. The prices of goods go up, but uh, the prices of services stay the same. Like getting buffs in Dire Mall and selling ports and food. Like the ports and food stay the same, but uh, the prices of goods Light go up. So it looks like we don't Go have any honor, first aid to train. Safe travels. So that was I guess that's good to know. Light be with you for the alliance. I thought we would have had some first aid training. Maybe we can make two more of these. I doubt that'll give us any new abilities that we can get, but I guess we'll check it out. Need help? Our heavy linen bandages are green. Wonder when we'll get wool bandage. Eighty. Okay. So we're close to wool bandage. That's what I was hoping to get. We only need like four more levels. Alright, so that's too bad. I guess we'll go see a Lexton. But we're going to have to upgrade our herbalism pretty soon. Before we go back out there.
And here we are. How are you? Trav and Trav, did you have any luck? Oh, thank you, Trav and Trav. It's of no practical use to me, but the sentimental value, needless to say, thank you for bringing this to me. At some cost to your own well-being, not to mention the time it took to go all the way down to Westfall. You have my gratitude, and have this as a token of my thanks. See you around. And there we go. Got seven silver for helping out Barrow Alexson. And we got a lot done today. And I think next episode we'll probably get our herbalism up. And we'll maybe go back to Westfall. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.